morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Everybody's talking about it. When a man loves a woman, Ricky, and there's nothing you can do about it. Well, this man is really loving his woman, and I'm talking about Neil. Now, two months ago, y'all, they're sitting the R&B singer Neil. He announced that he was leaving his beautiful wife of four years, Miss Crystal Renee. Now, they're saying y'all nobody know why they were separated, but he did make a song entitled it Pinky. Pinky Ring, to be exact. Well, now it's being reported, y'all, that Neo has called the divorce off. They said, according to reports, Wait, Neo what? Went, Wait, he, what? Yes, is, he it makes, up, is, it, is it up to him? Is it his decision? Yes, it is. They're saying, y'all, that Neo withdrew his divorce petition with prejudice, Ricky, which means, honey, he could file again. Maybe she shopped too much or she run him out too much or whatever. He can file again. But right now, he withdrew the divorce. Isn't that beautiful? Even that's your but friend, even, right? Even what that mean? Oh, she faded. That mean long. they need to call somebody. Huh? Oh. That mean they need to have a conversation. I mean, we need to have a conversation. But at the end of the day, you know, when it comes to relationships and marriage, especially when young kids are involved, it can become very, very complicated. And, you know, no one's perfect. So I just wish them the best. I wish those kids the best. And uh, I heard that he and her worked it out for better yeah, or for worse. Have you talked to Crystal? Every other day. Talked Crystal, to her yesterday. So. Well, we glad they're well, they, and they and they gonna work it out. I mean, For you now. know, every day is a new day. It's just like the Kenya Amor and Mark Daly situation. True. You know, it's kind of played out in the public. But at the end of the day, I think that they want nothing more than proper reconciliation and for it to work. And so just kind of figuring out how to make it work is what we in the middle of. Yeah. Even though she had went out and was taking pictures with other guys in the club and stuff like that, I guess. She was there. not out taking pictures with other guys in the club. She was at All-Star Weekend with every other celebrity and took well, that, pictures with other celebrities. That makes it worse than you being with every other celebrity. That's not a good look when you got a husband. No, it, no she was just out living her life. She just happens to be a woman of a certain stature. Okay. That's it. And he did withdraw the petition with prejudice, Ricky. Did you hear that word, prejudice? No, wait, no, what is, uh, that prejudice means he mean? could go back and file if he wanted. If she don't look right one day with her hair not looking right, he could file a divorce again. and they could. You but know, the thing uh, is that she could file too, though. So it's not yeah. just a one-sided situation. And he probably right. had to have time to move that money around, which, you know, some people do that. But nevertheless, Last honey, congratulations, <laughs> Neil and Crystal. Honey. We're happy, honey. Glad to know that they're back together. All right, moving on. Another celebrity news, y'all. Oh my God, honey. Now we're talking about Neil. Now Offset and his beautiful wife, y'all, Miss Cardi B. Now Cardi B, um, honey, is having a little issue with her, um, with Offset's baby mama, one of the baby mamas, the oldest baby mama. Now she said she tried to get in touch with honey, Miss um, Miss um, Cardi B, try to talk sensible with this girl, and here's how it went down. It went down. Yeah. Oh, well, anyway. I like but, Teddy Riley. Yeah. So, anyway, so she said, honey, now, um, <laughs> Offset's baby mama said that, you know, that she um, she tried to talk to um, Cardi B. She tried to call her and let her know that Offset is not paying child support with her for, um, for the baby or anything like that. And, honey, it just turned into a big disaster. Cardi B cursed her out, threatened her life and all this other stuff. But this, is the, part no. that, yeah, but this is the part that really hurts me, though. I feel, now, I, her name, honey, is Miss Shyla Lil Moore, honey. Now, Miss Shyla said, honey, you know, the only reason why, honey, Offset is upset with her because she does not want to be with him anymore intimately. Should she be with him intimately to get her check and just be now, done we with We can't him? believe that. We what? don't know what the situation what? is. She just bitter. Ain't no telling what's going on. Yeah. She, he ain't trying to be with her. He with Cardi. Come on. Listen. Well, I know. Here's what Cardi did her, baby. Listen to this. I came to her privately and respectfully, and she still come with a disrespect talk about she going to smack me. This your second time threatening me. I'm done trying to save face for people who don't give a f- about me, and they disrespectful and stupid, bro. Yes, honey. She said because he just, she don't, you know, and she want to say because he she don't want to sleep with him anymore. But if she got to get her checked, so, I mean, in some, some people say by all means necessary. I mean, you know, no, this, Gary. Uh, that was get, in civil rights. Oh, Gary. No, well, not by get, all means necessary. No. Well, but to get her check and stuff. But I mean, but Cardi wants to fight and carry on. So we just got to pray for this young lady because, honey, she looks very innocent, honey. And, you know, she did have the first baby for Offset before Cardi B had hers. So she was the first baby's mother. So, 
I don't know. But so what's that supposed to mean, Gary? Well, that means she was first. Her child was first, so her child should be taken oh, care of. Oh, don't do that. There is no hierarchy when you are the first or the third or whoever. Don't do that, Gary. Uh-huh. You know have people at home no, fighting. Ricky, do y'all not agree? If the first the first mother should be the one that treated, at least your child was the first child, do y'all not agree with that? Special K, y'all, Rock T? No, I don't agree no. with that. No. Not when you got a wife. She created right. But, uh, what you think, Rick? I mean, uh, I don't know. Cause you I know mean, I'm real close. <laughs> yeah, he ain't trying to even do that one right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Offset is like a nephew. Yeah, know. but first is first. If she was first, no, her, it's so, not. All it, those kids are special individually, and those moms that bore those children are also special. And if you're the first or the fifth, it doesn't matter. But my thing is, uh, the first ain't getting her child support, and ain't getting her check, and the second and the third is. I mean, that's not fair. They were the first. Yeah, so all of them need to get, get, you know, all the kids need to be taken care of. Yes, they should it, be. Thank you, know, you, Ricky. Without yeah. prejudice. But anyway. Without, I'm first prejudice, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Kahlua today on one of my favorite Kahlua's. My Kahlua today y'all, is Tiger Lily. On the high end, you say Tiger Lily, and on the low end, you say beautiful orangey red. That's your Kahlua for today.